At the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, Aston Martin has unveiled not one, but two brand new mid-engine supercars. This, the 003, or Son of Valkyrie, and the subject of this film, the Vanquish Vision Concept. Miles, thank you very much for talking to us. This is the frankly gorgeous Vanquish Vision concept. Thank you. And, and I realise this is, this is very much a concept, you know, this is sort of proof of intent, I suppose, sort of down the line that you're going to compete with things like a 488 or whatever it is sort of at that point. But if you could just sort of talk us through it, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is um, very much, as you say, a vision concept. So what we're showing here is, is where we will go. And, and take this very seriously, what you see here. Mm. Um, with cars like Valkyrie, we're starting a bloodline onto the MR Pro 003 and this. So there's a lot of thinking from those cars that will go into this. And it is, it will be Aston Martin's first uh, mainstream mid-engine car. Absolutely, and you can see obviously that bloodline, particularly in the, in the nose, the sort of the, the face of the car is very much taken down from the car we have over there and, and Valkyrie above it. Yeah, and also if you look at it very much from Vantage as well, so it is that sports grill, race inspired, nose to the ground, sniffing the trail of the car <laughs> it wants to catch in front of it. Absolutely. And describe, so obviously it must be wonderful for you because Aston Martin doesn't have a history of mid-engined um, supercars, so you've kind of got a blank sheet of paper to create this. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very fun. It's also quite um, <laughs> quite a big task, um, but it's very fun. And obviously, starting with Valkyrie as, as a car that I think hopefully redefines mid-engine cars anyway, there's, there's a lot of pressure in this car as well. Absolutely. Um, so, so what do we know about this car? We've, we've got the engine, I suppose. We can, we can talk about that to some extent. Yeah, to some extent. So this will, um, so 003 will in fact have um, the first all new Aston Martin designed um, engine since Tadic Marek way back in the early days of Aston Martin history. Um, it debuts in 003, but actually the real intent is to go in this car. Yeah. Um, and this so is a, a v, turbocharged V6. Turbocharged um, V6. With some hybridisation. With a level of hybridisation. And it's obviously, this is a different price point to 003, so it sort of, it, it matches its price point, if that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. So I think you, you said there's going to be much more hybridisation in 003 than there will be yeah. in this to that extent. And I suppose the other thing is sort of then, how much of the aero can be sort of carried into this car? Um, we'll have big ambitions. It will, <laughs> it will water down to some extent what we can do with Valkyrie in 003. The package is very extreme. The way we package it is very extreme. What you'll see here is a much more usable, everyday usable car. But I think with 003, we're, we're showing that the ambition doesn't stop just because we make Son of Valkyrie, we're not suddenly watering down, and we're going to push very hard, and there's a lot of aero development already on this. And the teams working on this, they are there because 003 and this are, there's a lot of common components that we are developing to make them great. Um, the team's quite shared, so the knowledge from those cars is very directly going into this. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it was said that sort of, obviously, Chris Goodwin has been very much involved in the sort of the honing dynamics of yep. Valkyrie so and then Chris Valkyrie. will constantly come and pester us, <laughs> sit in the car, wants to see the apex points, yeah. always talking about weight balance and all of that. So it's great input we're getting yeah. very early now. But then I think Matt Beck is going to be sort of, this is going to be perhaps more of his, his baby. It's probably more Matt's, but I think, you know, the influence <laughs> of Chris through that and the package work we're doing. You have to lock the door to keep Chris out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, but the package work we're doing very much involves both of them at this stage. And, and particularly because of Chris's experience with Valkyrie, with other hypercars, it's, it is coming in, you know, good and strong now. Yeah, absolutely. And if we just have a, a walk around the back, and I know it's, yeah. it's obviously sort of ideas as much as anything but we can see a few of the sort of um the looks there's a little bit of little bit of sort of 720 in there perhaps sort of kind of in the, the sort of the way that sort of got this low rear deck which we're seeing more of these days i suppose yeah, with and that's the just i mean diffuser. it'll always be the same thing in aero performance if you, you're just trying to minimize cross-sectional area so wherever you can you're 
pushing body work down tight to the tight to the car um, exhaust and the layout you know you come to sometimes some similar technical ways of doing stuff but i think the back as well you know there's hints of valkyrie in it but there's also his hints of dbs of original vanquish in the chrome line in the kick in the tail yes you can see i mean the, the kick in the tail there is obviously yeah. sort of you can see that from uh from vantages as well but you, you know here, here we're showing like the the optics from the from the lamp are directly from valkyrie yes yeah Absolutely. I suppose the other hard point that we ought to talk about that we, we know will be the case is whereas uh, the higher end cars are all carbon, it's a carbon tub, carbon body, this is going to have an element of, of aluminium um, in the chassis, it's going to be bonded. Yeah, so it, it will have, uh, I mean, we've got a lot of uh, expertise in aluminium yeah. um, today, but we're going to make this a hybrid tub, so it will be a carbon aluminium hybrid. Oh, really? Absolutely. In sort of what? Any ideas how that's going to work? Can I push not, you not, for no, some no. something? <laughs> not, in, not in ways we're talking about it's today. It's very kind of, you know, it's, it's yeah. few people. You just tell us power figures, everything. Oh, all yeah, 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 absolutely. Because yeah. it's a very discerning audience. <laughs> they, won't, they won't mention it to anyone yeah, else. It won't appear on any of it. There's a lot of secrets still in the car. <laughs> when can we expect to see one on the road? Um, so I think we're 21, 22 time frame for the car. Absolutely. Can't, can't say me that soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Martin. No problem. The rate of development of Aston Martin is just extraordinary. A few years ago, had we seen something like this Vanquish Vision concept, we might have thought that it was a, a new Lotus when they produced all those cars at most shows. But Aston keeps delivering. That's the extraordinary thing. That's why seeing something like this is so exciting, because you genuinely believe that in a few years' time, this will be on the road.